What's up guys, Rich here with Bernhardt Watch Company's Retro World. So a little backstory about Bernhardt Watch Company because they weren't always a watch company, but they've always been a family run company and they are based out of High Point, North Carolina. They used to uh, manufacture or were involved in the textile business or the hosiery business and then the furniture, furniture um, industry. And some of us might know that North Carolina is considered the furniture capital of the world because I actually knew, knew that because I own a Mitchell Gold chair, which is my most comfortable piece of furniture, and they are headquartered out of North Carolina. But then its founder, Fred Bernhard Amos, I used to restore Rolexes and other high-end watches before starting his own company in 1990. So Bernhardt Watch Company has been around for more than two decades producing really nice watches out of North Carolina. But sadly, Fred passed away in January of 2022, but the company is now being run by his wife, Jamie, and his son, Philip. So the Retro World, it's in 41 millimeters, 47 lug to lug, 13 and a half millimeters tall, and it uses a 22 millimeter strap width. So when you look at the watch, it just looks like a watch that was left uh, behind for you by either your grandfather or your father. It just has that nice classic look to it. And I think Retro World is a really appropriate model name for this. It just has that authentic look. The case is done in entirely brushed finishing with no traces of polished trim anywhere, just entirely in a brushed look. And I think that adds to the nice uh, retro or classic look uh, of, of this model. And I think the mesh bracelet also is a really nice touch. This is in the burgundy and gray version, but they also have it available in yellow and green and white and blue. So we, there we can see around the chapter ring the different cities and the different countries where we can tell what time it is in almost anywhere in the world at a glance in addition to our hometown. Uh, it, it has applied markers, a date window at 3 o'clock, two signed crowns. The first crown is to set the date and our local time zone. And then the top crown is the internal rotating bezel that we would use to adjust the time or see the time in anywhere in the world. So let's do a quick tutorial on, on how we can use uh, the world timer feature using the internal rotating bezel. I'm in Los Angeles, which is in the Pacific uh, uh, time zone. Let, I'm going to change the time to an even hour just for convenience. So um, it is a screw down crown and it is water resistant to 200 meters. So let's change it to five o'clock for convenience. And then we would use the top crown here to start r rotating the different cities. So there's Los Angeles right there um, between 12 o'clock and one o'clock. And now I'm gonna rotate that using the top crown. But I'm gonna, when I set the time, it's not the one through 12 o'clock that I would be using. I would be using the 24 hour format. And the first half is for AM and then from 12 o'clock to 24 would be PM. So we wanna use the 24 hour time zone, so not the one through 12 o'clock. So let me, Okay, there's Los Angeles, and I'm gonna set this to 1700 hours p.m. because that 1700 hours is also five o'clock. So there's Los Angeles, and if it's a long name, city name like Los Angeles, I would put it right in between the Los and the Angeles. Uh, and there we go. So now it's set for five o'clock. PM, and then we can see the other time zones too. So in Chicago, uh, it is seven o'clock. New York uh, would be eight o'clock PM. So the important thing is to do the AM and the PM so the rest of the cities will be uh, accurately measured. But what if uh, we don't see the corresponding city? What if I didn't see Los Angeles? Well, I'm in the Pacific time, so I would look for another city. So in uh, other options would be Oregon, or Nevada, or there are other cities also in the same time zone. Uh, for example, if I lived in Florida, which is the East Coast time, but I didn't see Florida as an option, I would look for the corresponding East Coast time, which would be New York. And I, New York is almost always um, a city on a world timer. So that's how we would use it. If we don't see our specific city, we would use a corresponding um, city uh, using this in the, that's in the same time zone. So it's that simple, and that's all we have to do to set the time uh, so, so we can see the other hours uh, at a glance. Really, really kind of cool, really a really attractive feature. Um, and I think it's a lot less complicated 
than we might think. And I hope I just explained that uh, pretty clearly. This is now a, a, a really well done, like I said, mesh bracelet. There's the clasp, which is really unusual for a mesh bracelet. I like I like the sturdiness. It comes with extra length. I have a small wrist, but these are the extra links uh, that they came on in, and it's a different look to it uh, as well. Really nice. It also has room for four micro adjustments. If we want to make it smaller or a little bit bigger, we can customize it that way. So nice details to the to the bracelet. And there is a look at the exhibition case back with a view of the world map that's engraved in there. So really nicely done, tastefully done. Uh, and these are limited editions of 300 in each colorway. So mine is number 228 out of 300. So same with the other co colorways, yellow uh, and green and then white and blue. So what is the movement that is powering the Retro World? Well, it's powered by the Miyota 9015 automatic movement with 42 hours of power reserve. So we know this is a reliable movement. We know it's a workhorse of a movement. And accuracy wise, I've been getting plus three seconds a day. So a really nice and sharp package. The retail price on the Retro World is $429. Uh, and I think that if it was priced 100 or even $150 more than that, I don't think we would really chirp about that we would still say that's that's a nice value what we're getting so my point is that at 429 dollars this is a nice a really good strong value watch instead of considered a cheap watch because there isn't anything that's cheap about this watch it doesn't look cheap it doesn't feel cheap it has a nice premium feel in the hand and here is a presentation that comes with the retro world here's a little card that does a, shows a quick tutorial on how to use the world timer features. And here is the presentation, the box that the watch actually comes in. It's a, it's a wooden box uh, and there's the pillow that the watch would come in. I think it's appropriate for uh, a watch company that used to be involved in the furniture watch business. So it, I think it's a good idea. I think it's, it's been consistent with the heritage and the history behind uh, the Bernhardt family and now they are involved in the watch business so you know i think they're staying very loyal very consistent with the the theme and the history behind uh the family run business so again i think at 429 dollars, i think this is a really solid value uh and and they do as much designing and modifications uh, as they can do based out of their offices in north carolina so again i think at 429 dollars, i think the retro world is a really nice option for us thanks for joining me and I'll see you the next time.